Hello guys and welcome back to another career mode episode. Today we have transfer deadline day in the January transfer market. And uh, we're going to get straight into that. Then we've got a couple more games for you guys. We're going to be hitting February as well, which is kind of crazy considering we're over halfway through the season now. Um, obviously transfer wise, this January we've signed Christian Eriksen and we've signed a young centre back as well. Um, just to help bolster up the squad. We're going to have to make some wholesale changes in the summer. Uh, Benzema's going to have to go, being one of them, our main strikers. He's getting old. He's losing overall. Um, we have a transfer offer for Gareth Bale here. Um, I'm going to delegate this. It's 71 million uh, offer. I'm going to delegate um, 150 mil to... Because I don't want to get rid of Bale, so they're going to have to offer big money persuade me to get rid of him um anything around that mark i'll take so that's 150 million euros between there and 125 million euros if chelsea want to pay that kind of money for gareth bale 29 years old then uh, they can have him uh, other than that it's not too much transfer activity on our own half you see sergio busquets has moved from barca to tottenham uh, rakitic has moved from barca to psg and christian erickson for 69 half million to ourselves which was a bargain, I think, considering his age and his capabilities. Um, there we go. Bale is not going to be moving. That transfer has broken down. Um, only a couple of hours left in transfer deadline days. Moving nice and swiftly, which is what I like. Not too much transfers. In and out. I reckon the summer one's going to be pretty crazy. I reckon a few big signings um, in the few first few episodes in the second season. But there we have it, guys. Uh, January transfer market has been and gone. We have a transfer here for Marcelo from Atletico Madrid. And again, I'll delegate. We're going to sort of overcompensate. We're not going to get anywhere near the figures I'm sort of after. But if we can get somewhere near there, that would be great. Because Marcelo, 30 years old, he's already lost an overall, um, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, we do have a scout just come back. And which one has he brought back? I take it Matteo Fuentes. No, let's just double check. Um, young player, blah blah blah. I don't know who's brought back because we had a few players in here. I think it might be Andrea Gallo. I don't remember having him in. Either way, we've got a couple of youngsters that are looking pretty promising. Um, we're going to move away from that because there's not too much going on with youth academy at the moment. But we're going to move straight into our first game of this episode. It's a home match against Alaves. I'm predicting a big win, and I'm hoping we get a big win. So I'm going to probably tinker the lineup, and we're going to get straight into our first game. So here we go, guys. Our first game of the episode, and hopefully we can have a cracking game. We had some great results from the last episode. Uh, Marcus Rashford scoring quite a few goals, I think two in the first game, uh, another goal in the second game. He's actually gone up and overall, he's now 85 rated, same as Karim Benzema, uh, who's dropped to rating so far. Uh, as you can see, league table-wise, if we win, we hot leapfrog Valencia. Um, Atletico Madrid are sort of creeping up behind us, but um, I've got good faith we can hold out for the league. And let's get going, guys. First half, here we go. Modric out wide. Poor pass. Luka Modric of all people. And Alaves have a chance to push up on their first attack of the game. Still have the ball on the edge of the box. They've still got the ball in the box. Come on. Ball comes in. And thankfully we get the clear. Ericsson. Rashford out wide to Sane. Again, he can use his pace. Cuts back. Referee. And I thought that was a free kick right on the edge of the box i'm gonna have a shot here christian erickson with a chance to score steps up oh the keeper saves it not a very good free kick for myself but another chance goes missing come on no no oh no 42 minutes played and halavis of all teams have taken the lead at the bernabeu we're 1-0 down. It's... I don't even know what to say, really. It's, maybe I shouldn't slide in. That's our young defender as well with the orange boots there with 
So I made the slide tackle, the new young defender we signed at 71 overall, 17 or 18 years old. But either way, a mistake from myself, and that's cost us dearly. We're 1-0 down. All of, our, all of our hard work that we tried to build in uh, the first half has pretty much been undone. Has a chance. Come on, boy. No, just good enough. Oh, there we go. Ericsson Rashford. Can he equalise, Marcus Rashford? Yes, he has. Yes, just before half time as well. That's exactly what we needed. A couple of minutes after conceding, Marcus Rashford goes the other end and scores. He's on fine form at the moment. Absolutely fantastic goal scorer right now. And Ericsson with the assist as well. God knows how many assists he's got since signing for Jan in January. And what an easy tap in. I don't care. Seven league goal. Seven league goals, sorry. For Rashford now. Absolutely fantastic. And that's probably going to end the first half. One all. That is just, oh, just so happy. And there we have it, half time. It is one all, as I was just saying a second ago. It's been a challenge in the first half. Alaves have provided a good test. Uh, we have had a lot of shots, though, so we're going to literally make a couple of subs and we're going to push straight in towards the second half and hopefully have another good half and maybe get a few more goals. Second half, here we go. About a minute in now. Hopefully, we can have a great second half. We need a few goals, that's for sure. Ericsson there to Rashford. What a ball. Marcus Rashford, he cuts in. Marcus Rashford still got the ball. Yes, Marcus Rashford. Again, proves why the signing of himself was so vital to our squad. He's now providing goals left, right and centre as well. And he's been really vital in this last couple of episodes. Brilliant skill there. And a great outside of the boot finish. And that's also his eighth league goal, second of the night. 2-1 to us. We're back in the lead. In the lead, sorry. Uh, to be fair, if we win this, we are back on top of the lead. Oh, we've won the ball back, though. And a chance for Isco. Isco! 3-1! Get in there! 55 minutes played. And we've now turned this around completely to a 1-0 deficit. We're 3-1 up. It's two early goals in the second half as well. Absolutely brilliant. Leroy Sane with great pressure. Winning the ball back. Isco slots it home. Nice and simple. It's third league goal of the campaign. And we're 3-1 up. Come on, let's push on for some more. Come on, Junior. Oh, Rashford. Isco. Back to Rashford. To Bale. Bale shoots. Oh, and Bale scores. It's 4-1. What an absolute banger of a goal. Gareth Bale coming on the pitch. 77 minutes played and we're 4-1 up. Brilliant. Lovely touch. And I watch the replay as he scores. If they hurry up with these stupid replays. But Bale on his strong foot. Curls it in. What a goal. 4-1. I think that's three points secured now. A chance. That's it, Danny Carvel. We've got a chance here to score again. Man in the middle, it's Asensio. Marcus Asensio, he's hit the post. I thought I was in. I thought that was in. But there we have it, guys. A great game has come to an end. It's full time. And we've got a massive 4 1 victory. And a, a very important three points just to keep the pressure on Valencia. Hopefully, they can have a few more slip ups. It was quite a dominant game. Alves did score late on in the first half. We equalised pretty quickly. And in the second half, we just blew them away. So, brilliant start to the episode. First game, first win. And we're going to progress on to the next game. I believe it's another El Clasico. This time, it's a semi-final first leg against Barcelona. Uh, we're going to quickly do the youth um, player training. And then we will go from there. So, we've sorted out the player training. And we're going to get focused on our second game of the episode. It is another home game, which is pretty good. Um, we're playing Barcelona. It's an important game. We need to get this right. Manager rating is now up to 88, so we're doing something right. Um, squad ratings. Ericsson still 88. Varane, Carvajal still 86. So here we go. Our second game of the episode. We're faffed around with some training. We're faffed around with some squads and player ratings. Um, I said player ratings, some overall upgrades, if you know what I mean. 
Yeah. You know, player growth. There we go. So I'm going to put Barcelona in the greeny, orangey, uh, orange? greeny, yellowy kit, I should say. We're going to make a couple of subs and we're going to get straight into this game. I'm looking forward to it. Let's hope we can have a cracking game. Um, hopefully it's not a a game where we get thrashed. Because last time we played Barcelona, it was a huge defeat. Uh, one which I don't want repeated, if necessary. Um, yeah, we're pretty much ready. We're gonna we're almost full strength. Let's get going, guys. Barcelona versus Real Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. Hopefully, we're gonna have a fantastic game. Here we go, guys. It's Real Madrid versus Barcelona. El Clasico in the Spanish Cup. It's the first leg of the semi-final as well. So we need a good result to take to the Camp Nou. Um, we can't afford to lose 5-0 at home. Let's just say that. So here we go. Kick off. And let's hope we have a cracking game. We've got some quality players in the squad in some really good form. So hopefully they'll do us well. And hopefully we'll have a cracking game. On Benzema, Sane, Leroy Sane, he shoots! Oh, it's a goal! I didn't expect that to go in, but it is! It's 17th, on the 17th minute, Leroy Sane smashes it home to make it 1-0. Great finish of the box. A dummy, and then a shot, and what a shot from Sane. That is more like it, boy. Come on, 1-0. Brilliant start to the game. We need to keep this going. And hopefully beat Barcelona by two or three just to just to have that chance to hit in the Spanish Cup final. No, Barcelona got a chance. Great tackle there by Ramos. That is just what we need. Got a corner kick though. 43 minutes played. We're still 1-0 up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you serious? What is going on? I'm, I'm trying to just contain the guy. He put it close. I've skipped the replay. But I'm just pissed off. Vidal has made a one all. Oh, for God's sake. It's just happening all over again. Cut in. Good ball to Bale. Gareth Bale. Oh, what an opportunity. We've got a corner kick. We make it count. That's the important thing. Comes in. Not good enough. But another chance. Oh, yes, yes, get in there. Marcus Rashford has scored. The same person that's been banging in goals left, right and centre. And it's 2-1 on the night. Absolutely fantastic. Get in there. I thought the chance went missing. Audrey's early with a shot and it deflects straight to Rashford. And the keeper doesn't even know how to react. And it's his sixth goal in this competition now. Which is absolutely fantastic. 2-1. And we've got an opportunity to score more. And we've got to take it now. Come on, boys. Yes. Get in there. And there you have it, guys. The end of our second and final game. It's the El Clasico. We've won it. Revenge against the massive fraction we got earlier on in the season. Um, and we've taken a 2-1 victory, which is brilliant. The semi-final first leg. It's exactly the kind of result we needed. As you can see, and as you expect, Barcelona dominated passing and possession-wise. Uh, they had a little bit more shots than us. But we have the most important thing of all, and that's goal scored. So 2-1 is a narrow margin for the second leg. But I'll take it. I will take it. So guys and girls, that is all I've got time for in today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If so, drop a like. And comment down below with your feedback. Or if you just want to say hello. I'll read all the comments. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content uploaded. But until the next time guys. Take care.